CC Light Wipe is found under the transition category, and this is one of the transition effects that's actually useful enough that it might show up in your workflow. If I apply it to a layer, we have some very basic transition controls, starting with completion. So right now we can see this healthy looking salad, but as I increase the completion, it transitions into the second picture of donuts. So by default, this effect just uses an iris wipe basically from one layer to the other, but also adds this haloing effect around the transition point. And we could increase or decrease that halo intensity. We also have the ability to change the center point. So if I wanted this in the bottom left corner, it could come from there. I'll reset that back to defaults. We also have the ability to change the shape. So instead of saying a circle, I could change this to doors and then it's going to be linear from the center outwards, which might be useful for having maybe a bright light source shining through opening doors or maybe an elevator. If I made this second layer much brighter with the exposure effect and offset that brightness, I could set a keyframe there, bring my completion down to zero and set a keyframe and then play this out over about a second, resetting the exposure back down on this effect and then easy easing everything and offsetting the exposure keyframes then we'll have this kind of overexposed reveal of the donuts. And we can even change the direction using this direction property so that it's moving horizontally. Now the next property below that is also very nice because we can choose to use the color from the source layer and now those rays that it's shooting out are based on that layer that it's applied to. Now there is one other shape and that is square. So instead of just being one dimensional, it will move in both the X and Y axis. I'm gonna change that back down to doors for now, and then we could also reverse the transition so that it's moving from the outer edges inwards to the center. And if I uncheck color from source, we can actually change this to be whatever color we want. So if it needed to be something a little bit more gold color, we have that option. So while a lot of the transition effects might not make it into your regular workflow, I think this one is definitely worth knowing about because of the cool and customizable features that it has. But that's the CC Light Wipe effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.